What is good with y'all boys, man? RDK back here with our first official NBA 2K25 video. We are back with our top five teams to join for each position in my career. We do this every year. We figure out the best teams to join for my career to either have a challenge or just join a team that has a lot of fun. I'm tired of seeing the, but this ain't 2K25 or in previous years this ain't 2k24 this ain't 2k23 yes i know it's i know i can't get the game yet. i don't have the game okay these are the current up-to-date rosters so the only thing that would be different from 2k24 and 2k25 is maybe the menu color or menu design is gonna be a little different if you're new to the channel you know what to do subscribe uh we do this video every year leave a like and uh Let's get straight into it. Our first team for point guard is the Utah Jazz. They just re-signed Laurie Markin into a big deal. They got Colin Sexton um, coming off injury a few years ago, but he looks like the same old Colin. Uh, great scorer. Great scorer. So, uh, put him at the two. I forgot they have John Collins, honestly. So, you put yourself at the one, Colin at the two, or maybe even Colin coming off the bench as a six man, and you got Markin Collins and then Kessler Clarkson coming off the bench um, I guess if you have Sexton starting you can have Clarkson off the bench or you can have Clarkson starting Sexton off the bench I'd rather have Sexton off the bench but playing more minutes than Clarkson uh, good young team uh, they did draft Isaiah uh, Collier uh, I don't know I mean it's 2k you can start over him easily um, I think he'll be a decent point guard in the league, though. I mean, what is he? He's like, yeah, he's 6'3", long wingspan. Uh, but, yeah, Utah Jazz is my first pick for point guard. I think it'd be a lot of fun to get some winning back to the Utah Jazz. Our second team for point guard is the Toronto Raptors. They got Scotty Barnes. I got personal beef with Scotty Barnes. He robbed the rookie of the year from my guy, Evan Mobley. But that is a story for a different day. Uh, but they got Scotty Barnes. He's a decent young player. R.J. Barrett, uh, good, good size shooting guard. Maybe even slide him to the three if you need to. Quickly is the current starter. I think he's a little overrated as an 83, but he is a decent point guard and he plays well with um, other players. He he uh, he mixes in well. You know, he's a good plug and play kind of guy. Uh, Bruce Brown, Grady Grady Dick is there. Uh, most recent lottery pick. Um, they also have Ochai. They have two. I didn't know Ochai played. There. He was on the Jets. So they got two uh, KU guys here. But I think uh, they got a good young core here with RJ and Scotty. Quickly can come off the bench. You can go you at the one, RJ at the two, Scotty at the four, um, probably Pirtle at the five, and then I don't know. Maybe Bruce at the, at the three. Maybe Grady. I think Grady probably at the three just for offense. If you want a real challenge, guys, my third team is the Washington Wizards. We all know about the Wizards. They're not very good, but they just draft this guy right here. And whoever did this face creation did pretty well. Pretty much looks like Alex Saar. But uh, I'm kind of excited for Saar. I think he's... I think he's going to be a pretty good center. I don't know why they have him listed at power forward first. He's a center in my book. He's seven foot tall. But uh, you can go you at the one, Brogdon at the two, and bring Poole off the bench. Or you can pretty much do the same thing with Poole at the two and Brogdon off the bench. Uh, you go yourself. What I would do is me, Brogdon, um, probably Kola, Kola Bali. I can never say bro's name. Koulibaly. And then Kuzma. Highest, best player on the team. And then uh, probably Valanchunas to start. Maybe you can throw Saar in at power forward with Valanchunas. I uh, forgot he signed there, honestly. But Wizards, if you want a real challenge for point guard, it's 2K. You're going to win with any team, honestly, depending on the difficulty you have it on. We know Hall of Fame's pretty easy on the new gen. So... Um, but if you wanted more of a challenge, yeah, go to a crap team like the Wizards. Our 14 for point guard, the Los Angeles Lakers, fellas. LeBron's not getting any younger. He's turning 40 
I think they're just about three months, four months. Sorry. Uh, Anthony Davis is still there. He's getting old himself. Why don't you come to L.A., let LeBron get one more, help him get one more, and then ride off into the sunset. Russell's their current starter. Uh... I joined the Lakers on 2K24 of my career, and it was a lot of fun playing with LeBron and AD. Uh, Russell came off the bench. I even moved him to the two sometimes. Uh, Reeves was pretty much my two most of the season. Um, it was a lot of fun. They do have uh, Dalton Connett, who they just drafted. He seems to be, a, he's gonna be a, I think, a decent scorer, honestly. Probably like 14, 15 points per game. It's, it's my prediction. Playing with LeBron, anyone can score that, though. You know who they got. Dude, whoever making these face scans is pretty good. Like, that's that's not bad for creating it on 2K. But anyways, Ronnie James Jr. I think you can control the team over LeBron and just play yourself at point guard. But give Bronny some minutes, too. Make LeBron happy in his last season. I bet he retires. And our fifth and final team for point guard. I think I have the heat for point guard almost every year because I think that's just what they lack at this point. We know Jimmy. Jimmy is Jimmy. Bam. Coming off the USA uh, Olympic gold medal, he got that experience. Hero's still there. He could play the two with you. Rozier's more better coming off the bench, in my opinion. So you can go you, Hero, Jimmy, Jamie, and then bam. And then you got you a decent little scoring off the bench with Terry. Duncan running off screens. K-Love's still there uh, doing his thing. So I think uh, the Heat helped Jimmy finally get that ring, man. Our first team for shooting guard is the Charlotte Hornets. Now, LaMelo's coming back off an of injury. But it don't matter. It's 2K. Everyone's going to be healthy to start the year. So, LaMelo, point guard. Uh, yourself at the shooting guard. And then you got Brandon Miller at the three. Um, the four. Who did they draft? I don't even remember who they drafted. Is this? I couldn't tell you. My bad. Okay, so... Uh, this was this guy. Let me drop the, uh, whatever. So, anyways, Lamelo, yourself, Brandon, uh, probably Miles, and then Mark. Decent lineup. Not much of a bench. You, you got to do it, Grant Williams. But uh, I think if Lamelo can actually play, you know, a decent season, this team would be a lot better than what they've been finishing. Lately, plus Brandon Miller doesn't look bad at all. Um, and you factor in Mark Williams actually started playing decent towards the end of last year. This is a team that could maybe, maybe get a play in spot in the East as long as LaMelo stays healthy and Brandon Miller just keeps uh, progressing and Mark as well. Second team for shooting guard the Indiana Pacers, Tyrese, Mr. Bench Mob for the Team USA. Just kidding. Tyrese is a dog. Uh, he's only 24. So you got Tyrese feeding you the rock. A shooter would be awesome here. Someone that can shoot. So make a shooter come here to Indiana at the two guard. So you got Tyrese yourself. Then you would throw probably Benedict Matherin in there at the three. Um, Siakam at the four. Turner at the five. I think Turner might get traded. This, this might be the year. Turner's been almost getting traded for like the past five years. I think this is the year... Um, if I call it, you have to subscribe. Come back to this video and subscribe. Turner's going to be traded this year. But uh, anyways, this team, a decent young team. You've seen what they did in the playoffs. They did make it to the Eastern Conference semifinals. Um, so I think... Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just tripping like... I didn't remember if they actually made it to the semifinals, but they did. Okay, so they lost to the Knicks. So, yeah, I think, uh, or no, they didn't. They made it to the Eastern Conference Finals, bro. I'm so stupid. They didn't lose. They beat the Knicks. Because Brunson was hurt. I'm so dumb. Sorry. They made it to the Eastern Conference Finals in Tyrese Halliburton's breakout year. So, uh, this team only has up to go from here. It'll be a fun team. That's all I could say. Third team for shooting guard. Oklahoma City Thunder. They just got Caruso. This team ran into a, you know, a highly motivated Mavericks team last season. And uh, unfortunately, they fell short. They lack the playoff experience. But this team is young and they are going to be in the playoffs for a long time. 
um, Shea, then yourself. Caruso come off the bench. Um, probably throw Jalen at the three. And I forgot they got Hartenstein too. Hartenstein's an awesome pickup. Uh, two seven footers here. I don't even know who he would throw at the four. Maybe throw Jalen at the four because he does play four sometimes. So maybe go Dort and then Williams and then Chet. Because I don't know if these two would play good together, Chet and Hartenstein. But maybe they will. Who knows? Our fourth team for shooting guard is the Milwaukee Bucks. They got Dame. Uh, but where's the two guard? Gary Trent Jr.? Pat Connington? Nah, they need a two guard. This team wasn't very good last year at all. Whoop, 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 whoop. Sorry about that. Uh, but anyways, Giannis got hurt at the end of the season, which probably would have made a big difference. Dame did all he could. Um, so we, and then, who they, they beat, they got beat by Indiana. So Dame, yourself, Chris, Giannis, Brooke. Decent team, man. Fun team. Giannis is fun to play with. He's a dog on 2K and in real life. And our last team for shooting guard, the Los Angeles Clippers. They got Kawhi Leonard. Paul George is gone. He was their shooting guard. Maybe Kawhi played four. Paul was at the three. I don't really I didn't really watch much Clipper games, but I could tell you right now it'd be Harden, you, Kawhi. And then you could throw Batum in, or you could even throw someone in at the three, like Derrick Jones Jr., who just signed with them after having a decent playoff run with the Mavericks. So you could even go Harden, you, Derrick Jones, Kawhi, and then Zubox, and then have a decent bench mob like Norman Powell. Uh, Chris Dunn is a decent backup point guard, good defender. Uh, Terrence Mann, he, he can score when he gets going. Takes him a second. Batum's a good defender. He's getting old. Then you got Bones Highland. Uh, P.J. Tucker is there. I forgot P.J. was there. He got traded with Harden. So, decent team. Uh, but, yeah, they need a third piece. Harden is not Harden no more. I mean, the fall-off's been crazy, but that's still my dog. Uh, but, yeah, shooting guard Clippers final team. Small forwards, first team, my favorite team, um, the Cleveland Cavaliers. We re-signed my guy, Donovan Mitchell. Uh, we was able to swing it, Bob, and get him back there. So, uh, that's awesome. And we got Evan Mobley. Resigned him. Resigned Jared Allen. Garland. Uh, what's he going to do? Is he going to go? Is he going to get traded? Who knows? Uh, but we're here talking about small forwards. So, it's going to be Garland Mitchell. Unless Garland so happens to get traded. Garland Mitchell and then yourself. And then we got Mobley Allen. Struess was a decent option at the three. Very, very inconsistent in the playoffs. That's not what we need. We need someone that's going to be averaging 20. At least 20 with Mitchell. Uh, Gar that should have been Garland, but... Oop, 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 oop. I'm just pressing random buttons. That should have been Garland, but it wasn't. So, um, Garland, Mitchell, you, Mobley, Allen. And you would have a hell of a bench. I mean, Lavert coming off six man. Struess coming off. Uh, Sam, that dog was dogging. Uh, Dean Wade, I still got beef with you, bro. Craig Porter Jr., decent. Actually, probably better than average backup point guard. New draft pick here, Jalen Tyson. He's 6'7". They got a point guard, shooting guard. That don't even make sense, but whatever. Uh, I'm probably just glazing because it's my team. Oh, yeah, and we did sign JT. And where the hell is uh imani that's gonna be our three of the future but they don't want to play him so you know what they're gonna play you if you go there our second team for small forward and i wasn't gonna include the net at first but i decided to include the net for small forward they do have cam johnson he can easily be slid to the four because he is a great defender and he's six foot eight and he he has a 6'10 wingspan. So there's some fours that play great at the four and they're way shorter than him. So um, honestly, I think this team's good and I think this team's not good in every position. You could probably come here for point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward. I think the only uh, position they're actually good at is the center position, which is where Claxton comes in. Uh, they lost Bridges. Ben Simmons, pfft, I mean, I don't even know. 
I don't even know if, like, why are you still taking up roster spots? If you don't want to play no more, let someone else have that spot. Um, but yeah, small forward, maybe like a point forward, kind of like a Ben Simmons type of player, but someone that's going to actually, you know, play every game or at least most of them. Third team, the Phoenix Suns, Kevin Durant. He can play small forward. They have him at seven feet. I don't know. He is probably seven feet. Um, he's been a three most of his life, but we're going to put him at power forward in this scenario. Um, we'll go book point, Bradley two. And yes, I know Bradley's shorter, but I think book has better playmaking skills and is able to bring the ball to court and run plays and do stuff like that, like a point guard does. So... Uh, book point, Bradley two, you at the three, Durant four, and then Nurkic five. Um, ah, this team's all right. The bench is decent. They picked up a few players, nothing too crazy. Um, it's going to be on these three here to give you at least 60 a game between the three of them. They have to. Um, Grayson might add 15. Not per night. That's going to be on a good night. Uh, O'Neal, he can hit some threes. I don't know why they have him as a... Oh, I thought, bro, I thought they said O'Neal was a glass cleaner. Uh, yeah, come here. What can you do? Be a scorer. Maybe a point four like a LeBron. I don't know. I think it would be fun, though, to play with KD as he's getting older. And you can help him get one last ring on his feet. We're back to the Wizards here for small forward. They were also on my point guard list. Uh, so if you're not going to be point guard here, you can go Brogdon 1, Pool 2, U3, Kuzma 4, Valanciunas 5, or Sar at the 5. Uh, or you can go Kuzma. Uh, I don't know. I like him at the 4. That kind of defeats my list if I put Kuzma to the three. Just so Sar can start with Valanchunas. Maybe bring Valanchunas off the bench. And Kuzma. Or you, Kuzma, and then Sar. Star. I just like Star Sar. I like him a lot, actually. I think he's gonna be pretty good. Big wingspan. We got 7-5 wingspan. But Valanchunas is also a tenacious rebounder, so. Our last team for small forward, the Atlanta Hawks. Trey Young is all by himself. Trey Young is one of the most consistent players I, I think I've ever seen in the NBA to start his career. Um, he's done it so well for so long that he does not even get the credit and the attention that he used to get because it's just what it's normal for him to, to average 28 points and 11 assists every season. He did that last year. And yet, nobody really talked about Trey Young. I think he's a demon for how small he is. He, he's a beast. But anyways, uh, Trey Young, and then you got the draft pick, the number one overall pick, Zachary Rissacher. Rissacher, Rissacher, I don't even know. Whatever. He has the he has the height and the length. He can move to the two. He can damn near move to the four. I don't think he has the body for the four. So maybe move bro to the two, you at the three. You can even come here as a two and leave him at the three. Um, they do have Bogdanovich, you know, the uh, the man who was taunting. He wasn't taunting Carmelo. Uh, if he could play like in the NBA with Trey Young, how he played in the Olympics, then they might have a decent little team going. DeAndre Hunter was the last project they had. He's just not panning out. He's still a decent defender, though. He can still shoot that corner three. They picked up Larry Nance. I think it's going to be fun with him playing with Trey, throwing them lobs and such. But there's a few lineup options you can have with this team. I just think Trey needs a little bit of help, man. Give that man some help. Get him back to the ECF. Our first team for power forward is the Chicago Bulls. Lonzo will be healthy when you start your my career. He's going to be there. So you're going to have Lonzo, probably Kobe, then Zach at the three. I don't like Zach at the three at all. He might get traded to the Lakers, if I'm being completely honest. Um, Giddy's there now, too. They got a lot of guards, really. Um, but Giddy's kind of big, so I don't know. Uh, Jalen Smith is their 
no, no, sorry, Vucevic is their center. Uh, Patrick Williams is their four, or Jalen Smith could be their four. Uh, I think a four like a Mobley. I don't know because Mobley hasn't really developed into that offensive guy yet, but a four like Mobley would be really good here in Chicago. So I say come here to Chicago as a four, maybe with a Mobley type, like a bigger four. Mobley is a center. He'll probably be the center of the future for the Cavs. But for now, maybe like a six foot 10, six foot 11 power forward. Our second team for power forward is the Los Angeles Lakers. I know I already had them on my list for point guard, but we are here at power forward because I think their starter is Rudy Hachimura um, or Vanderbilt. I think when Vandy was healthy, he was more of the starter, which he was a really good player, actually. Um, but let me break it down for you. We're going to have D'Angelo Russell at the one or, the, or Bronny. Never know. Probably AR-15 at the two. Bronny at the three. Who's at the four? Who's at the four? Oh, wait, you are. And then you're going to have AD at the five. AD could play four with a way bigger center, but I don't think um, he's going to move. I think he's going to stay at center. He has the weight for it. He has the wingspan. He has the strength. So you at the four, playing with Bron, help him get that last ring. Our third team for power forward is the Brooklyn Nets. Like I said, when I was talking about shooting guard or sorry small forward i said this team could use every position besides a center because claxton is actually a pretty good nba center um so come out to four i mean you could probably be like a like i said for small forward a point forward type build so even for power forward you could be a ben simmons because you can see he's point guard uh well they have him point guard slash center i think he's always been point guard slash power forward but come here and play power forward maybe like a ben simmons type of build but you actually will play the game our fourth team for power forward is the detroit pistons now they went all in on Cade this offseason gave him a huge contract for no work he's done nothing for this franchise he's done nothing i don't care you can say whatever you want he's done nothing but he got a big old fat deal because they have to give that money to somebody and yes he is a good prospect yes he is a big tall point guard he should be able to be a good player in the league um they drafted ron holland we all seen that uh duran he's a pretty good center no cap they got tobias harris i think he'll probably be that starting power forward in real life but we know tobias harris he does nothing he's he's a he's a thief he has robbed the nba of millions of dollars and has not really done too much to have earned that money so go replace him um you could be a shooter with Cade space the floor let him do his thing uh so maybe a not too tall of a player maybe like 6'9 6'10 power forward that can shoot uh but also among that do other things maybe finish catch some lobs stuff like that and a quick honorable mention for power forward uh I'm gonna throw the Portland Trailblazers in here. They have Simons at the one or two. They have Scoot at the one or two. Uh, Jeremy Grant, dude, what, like, he has just been on rosters. I don't think I've ever seen a highlight from him uh, in a Trailblazers uniform, let alone seen a highlight from him in a long while here in the NBA. So um, I will say Jeremy Grant is replaceable. He hasn't really done much to prove that he deserves a starting spot in the NBA, uh, let alone for this team. So, quick honorable mention there for power forward. Moving on to centers now. Our first team is the Atlanta Hawks. Like I said earlier, Trey Young is very underrated in this league. Um, he averages 28 points, 11 assists, it seems like, every year. And he does it so often that people just ignore it now. They don't give him his credit. Um, he's a beast. I love Trey Young. He's one of my favorite players. Uh, Clint Capella has been there for a while, I think, uh, paired up with Trey Young. Clint just ain't anymore. I mean, Clint's decent. Don't get me wrong. He's a great rebounder. Uh, good shot blocker. But Trey needs that prototypical, that, that, that new age type center, that Wimby. 
Chet Holmgren. Someone that can put the ball on the floor, dribble around people, shoot the three consistently. You know, so I think a center like that. Like, imagine if Trey Young actually did get traded to the Spurs. The league would be in trouble, in my opinion. That's all I'm going to say. So bring Wimby to Trey. Be his Wimby. And go, go, and just go crazy. I didn't want to include this team for center because I think Mark Williams took a big jump last year. Uh, but this is our second team for center. Mark Williams is young enough to, I, I just don't know. I think just playing center here would be fun, to be honest. I, I think just overlooking the fact that they have Mark Williams and just putting yourself right there in his position, just taking it right from him. Um, bringing him off the bench or maybe just moving him to the four. You can have a big duo, kind of like maybe what the Wizards are going to have this year with Saar and Valanchunas. Maybe what the Cavs have with Jared Allen and Mobley. Just two big power forward and centers and move him to the four. Maybe make like a seven foot two, seven foot three center. Bring him here, big boy, and just have a lot of fun. I think, I think just playing with LaMelo would be fun. Our third team for center, the New Orleans Pelicans. Zion is cutting his weight down. They say he's down to 272 and he wants to be down to... No, they say, sorry, they say he's down to like 280 and... I don't remember what they say. He's cut weight. Um, will he stay healthy for a majority of this year? I wouldn't bet on it myself. But when Zion is healthy, he's proven to be... Dare I say one of the best players in the NBA. Dare I say it. They got DeJounte Murray. He's their new point guard. Brandon Ingram's there. He's been consistent. Um, he's not very efficient, honestly, to me. But he's been consistent for the most part. CJ McCollum's there to play the point. Um, I'd rather McCollum be at point and then Murray at two. But I think Murray probably plays point better than playing two. I think he plays better with the ball in his hands. Maybe bring McCollum off the bench. Um, but where's the center on this team? Daniel Tice. Not the best center by any means. Decent role-playing center. But starting center in the NBA, I'm going to have to say no. And I'm going to have to say bring a center here that could shoot and space that four for Zion Williamson to go dunk on anybody that is in the paint. Our fourth team for center is the Orlando Magic. They have Wendell Carter Jr. And they have Mo Wagner. I hate Mo Wagner. I hate Mo and Franz. I'm a hater. I don't care. Call me what I am. I don't like them too. The Cavs play them in the first round. The Cavs are my team. Mo and and Franz are big talkers. They didn't really do much to back it up. So you know what? But I'm going to be unbiased here. I'm going to include center on my list. Um, I think this team with a, just a beast. Like rebounding. Like a defensive rebounding center. That can shot or block shot would help this team out tremendously maybe be able to pop a few corner threes here and there as well uh space that floor for paulo for Franz, i guess jalen suggs i got beef with bro too um but you know what center on this team i think someone that can you know be a, a defensive anchor would be awesome for this team and i'm not sure i've ever had the warriors ever ever on any of my list but you know what this is the year steph curry Clay is finally gone. They got Buddy Heald in the offseason. Draymond Green. Uh, Tracy Jackson Davis. That is their best center, as it says on their roster. Looney is probably more of their starter. But center, guys. Warriors. Any build. Don't matter. Play with Curry. I have never played with Curry on any build I've ever made. I think if I make a center this year... I'm going to the Warriors. I am going to the Warriors so fast because Curry has inspired me just from the Olympic run to play with him. I just want to play out with Curry. I think I'm going to have fun like LeBron and him did. So that's why I just want to play with Curry. I think it would be awesome um, to play with Curry and just, yeah, have a good time. So if the video helped you guys, if you found out what team you're looking for, Make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. If there's any teams you feel like I have left out, make sure you put it in the comments and let me know what teams I left out. Um, that's pretty much all I got for this one, though. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.